Welcome back! <laughs> Welcome back! My girlfriend watches Bond returns in a new era of Bond movies because today we're going to be starting Daniel Craig. The Daniel Craig Bond <laughs> movies, that's right. So we've watched all of Pierce Brosnan's movies. You ended up seeing all of them. Uh, as well as one Connery movie and one Dalton movie. So Brosnan is the Bond you saw the most. Yes. What What are your thoughts on how he did as, as Bond? How, how did you? How did I, well, like I cannot compare him with other ones because I only saw one film from what's his name? Connery. Killed. Yeah, and and Dalton. Tim Tim Dalton. Oh yeah, and Connery. So. Right, you don't really have a reference? Compare, no, I can't compare them with the other ones because I only saw one movie from each one. That's right, yeah. So, in my head, it's, uh, Pierce Brosnan is 007. Yeah, that's the I, one you saw the most. Yeah. Right, uh, but how did you enjoy him as Bond? Did you think he did a good job? Or uh, just, even if, if, if his movies were the only ones you saw? Yeah, he did a pretty good job. Only the last one. The last one, yeah. Kite that's not his fault. No, 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 that's, that's, that's very true. Um, yeah, he tried to do his best with mm -hmm. what he was given in Dying Hard Day. Yeah. Um, yeah, so now we're stepping into the shoes of a new actor playing Bond. The blue-eyed man. The blue-eyed man, indeed. Although Brosnan also had blue eyes. Ah, yeah, that's true. But I, I don't know Daniel Craig. No, you, did, you never saw him? No, in other movies. I only okay. know him from 007, but I don't know how he became 007. Okay. Well, he ended up winning from a, a long list of actors, okay. um, because the producers saw him in a movie from 2004, Layer Cake. That ended up uh, being the movie that landed him the role. Okay. Uh, he ended up winning the role, but there was a long list of actors, including Henry Cavill, who was also in the race, but didn't end, ended up losing to Daniel He's Craig. So who knows? Maybe in the future, Henry Cavill but will be. So <laughs> but maybe in the future, Henry Cavill will be the new Bond, or me. You never know. <laughs> anyway. Well, I will be the Bond girl then. I'll, I, if she ever becomes a Bond girl, I would totally be up for that kind of stuff. You heard me here first, because you know, who, which man wouldn't want a Bond girl? So like producers. <laughs> Just give me a call. <laughs> anyway, um, Daniel Craig, the new Bond. Um, we're watching Casino Royale. Um, this is his first This is your Bond favorite movie. movie, right? From the franchise. Yes, and I think objectively the best Bond movie. But that's just my opinion. I'm just really curious what you're going to think. But what are your expectations? Do you think it's going to be very different than Brosnan? Or? Yes, it's very different because this is from this era. Right. Right. So it's not like the poof, poof, poof. <laughs> yeah. And um, Daniel Craig himself, what do you expect of him? What kind type of Bond do you think he's going to play? I think he's like, I don't know, if I see him on the posters. Um, yeah. I think he's quite cool, laid back. And then if you get him really mad, then he's like, F this, and I'm gonna kill you all. <laughs> so you think he could be a real killer? Does he look like he's capable Yeah, of... but he's like, um, he looks like a man, like he plans it out and then he will do it. And the other one, what's his name? Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan, he looks like... I will do this, like... Um, More smooth, maybe? No, not smooth, that's Daniel Craig. Okay. The other one, he's like, um, just like Mission Impossible. Tom Cruise. Yes, like, all over the place. Pierce Brosnan is more yes. like Tom Cruise. Oh, really? Huh. I don't know, it's like cooler, more sophisticated look but than the other ones. Okay, but who is the more sophisticated to you, Brosnan yeah, or Craig? Yeah, Craig. Oh, really? Yes. Really? So, yeah, I think that if you look at the posters of Daniel Craig, they look, yeah, with action, but more down to earth than the other ones from uh, Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. Who want to show everything. Yeah, the Brosnan posters 
seemed to feature all kinds of explosions, more type of stuff like that. And yes, and here's like more simple. Simple, but you don't know what to expect. But he's like wearing his gun in his hand, and I, and then you're like, hmm, I want to go to this film because I don't know what to expect here. Yeah. And I don't know who's in the film because you only see Daniel Craig. That's right. And before we dive into Casino Royale, the title and the, the movie, when you just look yeah, at the poster, yeah, you what? you see the other pictures. Yeah, the different poster. Oh no, yeah. it's the same one. It's the same one. Um, what, what do you expect from Casino Royale? What, or what are you hoping to see from this movie? A lot of action. If you see the poster, it has to do with the building. <laughs> and yeah. a lot of water. <laughs> In the, yeah, okay. Water is like, yeah. It's a lot on the poster. Yeah. Okay. And that girl is the bomb girl. She's not bad. She's the bomb girl. Okay, well, we're going to dive into Casino Royale. I'm very excited. Yeah. Because if I don't like it, yeah. What are we going to do here? We'll see how you like it. So let's just dive into Casino Royale. Wat nu al anders is. Klein is kijk. And up. So, we finished watching Casino Royale. Yes, and we did. What did you think of the movie, first impression overall? A lot of action, where I, wa where I was waiting for. Mm -hmm. um, realistic. Also one of your hopes, mm -hmm. I think. Yes, but at the end, the love scene and everything, I wasn't prepared for that one. In what, in what regards, so you, you fit, don't think it fits Bond or what do you mean? No, no, it doesn't fit Bond because I already watched other movies from James Bond mm -hmm. and he's like a womanizer and now he falls in love. Mm -hmm. But you told me that it was the first book. Yes, it's uh, like I told you at the end of the previous episode, this is a reboot. So this mm -hmm. shows you an ambition of how Bond becomes that womanizer we know mm -hmm. because he's, he's hurt and he's not able to open up in that way because of what he lived through with Vesper. Mm. Yeah, that's why. So you don't think that, that should, Bond should not fall in love? Yeah, every, every people, every, everyone in the world can, be, can fall in love. I was prepared for this because mm. he, in all of the other movies, he puts like a womanizer, mm -hmm. and then in this movie, he's not. Well, there was of course also Solange, who is the the other girl that appeared early on in the movie, where there was definitely the womanizing of him talking her into the car, and then. Oh yeah, the the bad guy. Girlfriend. Yeah, the girl of uh, Dimitrios, uh, one of the people that was involved with the bombing of the Skyfleet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, that, that was the womanizing there, but do, do you think... A little bit. Do you think... He has to learn. Right, okay. Do you, <laughs> do you think Craig pulls it off to be a woman? Do you think women could fall for a man like him? I think so. I would fall for his blue eyes. But I hear that a lot again. with Daniel Craig. <laughs> yeah, also blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Daniel Craig, yes. what do you think of him now that you've seen four Brosnan movies, you kind of got a, a vision of what, what you think James Bond is, and now someone completely different than Pierce Brosnan uh, looks different, plays it different. How do you think he did? He did quite good. Um, they're both good at uh, playing James Bond, 
the character, but they play James Bond uh, very differently. Yeah. Daniel Craig, he plays very sophisticated, but the other one, I don't know, he has to... Well, I watched four movies of him. So All of his movies? Yeah, yeah, so he is like, for me, the James Bond look, Yeah. because I... That's, the, that's the man you associate with James Bond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, you keep forgetting, oh, Pierce Boss, because you see him as that's James Bond, kind yeah. of. Uh, yeah. And now it's someone else. Yeah. But did you like him as James Bond? Does he pull it off for you? Uh, he, he did, it kind of way, but I don't know. Okay, mm -hmm. because um, I remember one of your complaints with Brosnan's Bond was mm -hmm. uh, he never bleeds, uh, he's too perfect. That's correct, and, yes. And uh, the fighting wasn't, he looked like a, like a wuss in, in one scene. I remember mm -hmm. the submarine where you weren't impressed by him fighting Renard. Yeah. Now Daniel Craig does the fighting. Yeah. And, and it does the killing aspect. How yeah. does he pull that off in your eyes? Very good. You see the blood on his face. You see uh, his tuxedo. It's like blood everywhere. You see, it's real. And it takes a toll on him too, yeah. and because of the killing, it's it's mm -hmm. he feels it. It's he's not used to it yet in this yeah. movie. And that that aspect of Casino Royale is something uh, very different because this is the first time his kind of first mission as a double O agent. Mm -hmm. uh, killing is not something normal to him yet. Uh, not neither is all the women and that kind of stuff. How did you like that aspect of of this being? A clean slate, like a new star, fresh start, and him being at the beginning well, of his career. I didn't know it. First, I didn't know it was a reboot until you said to me. I did mention it at yeah, the end of Dino Yeah, you mentioned it. You mentioned it, but um, I. You had to get used to that. A little bit, but <laughs> um, I didn't know why. Why? Do you, well, um, do you think they should have continued with the kite touring to Nani's and Lasers? No, but no, no. That's the reason. They wanted to put, push the reset button but and why? bring it this back to the... This is the first the, book. Yeah they, the, the, huh? yeah, they wanted to bring it back to the source material, make it more like James Bond is supposed to be. And the but why was, did they start with Dr. No? Um, because this because, is the first book, right? Yeah, yeah. Why did they start with another book? Right, good question. Well, Dr. No was the sixth book, not the first book, but at in the beginning when the rights, uh, the filmmakers got the rights from Ian Fleming. 1954, before all of this, uh, as a TV series. Uh -huh. Until, well, recently actually, the early 2000s, when they finally got retrieved those rights and were able to, to make the movie they always wanted to make. But I don't think they could film Casino Royale in like, what time? 1950s? Why not? I don't know, with this kind of action. Yeah, that, that's, but that's what they did now. They updated that. That's not from the book, all the action. The, the first The book action, is the very action low on action. Scene, it was... No, that they all put that in for the movie. Okay. The book itself is a book written in 1953. It's so really it's not from book. the book? Uh, the Casino is from the book, The Falling in Love is from, is not, from the oh. book, Vesper is from the book, Mephis is from the book, a lot of yeah, aspects. Yeah, the only character and aspects. And the not, story. But not the real, the full story is not from the now, book. Mainly the action added is now cinematic, like the opening action scene with the... With the um, uh, the foot chase and the, the airplane, everything was dialed up because it needed to be cinematic. The book is very, very much based on the casino mm -hmm. itself and the falling in love part and, and Vesper double crossing bond, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So the essence is there of, of Fleming's writing, but it's, yeah, it's updated for, for this, this time. Okay. What did you, speaking of the story, what did you think of the story as a whole? Bond going up against Le Chief on a poker table, mm -hmm. trying to clean him out, um, him falling yeah, in love. This, this movie was about money? In a way, yes. 
was like airplanes and stuff that uh, the bad guys want to bomb an aircraft. Right, the sky so fleet, uh... The stocks went up, mm -hmm. and then that didn't happen. So it was about the money. Yeah, the chief didn't win that money because the airplane didn't get got blown up. So now yeah. he owned his employers a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to win it back because he was a mathematical genius. He was such a good poker player. Mm -hmm. He organized the tournament at the Casino Royale, and Bond was sent as the best card player of MI6 to stop him. Yeah, it's a good story with the airplanes. <laughs> what was what's with the airplanes? Just. I like to watch airplanes. Because of the aviation yeah. you're in. Yeah, okay, I, I thought maybe you had something to say about the critiquing this. No, position. no, it's a good story. Okay. Yeah. Um, the action, because you, you always, that's what you like about mm -hmm. the Bond movies. The but first it, action scene I liked the most. Yeah, the parkour, free running. Yes, yes, I didn't know he invented the. Uh, uh, free one. Yeah, the guy that Bond chases is, yeah. is uh, I think, the founder, if I'm not mistaken, of uh, free running. Um, one of my friends actually met him. Oh, really? The free runner? Who yeah, my friend James that I oh, okay. really met, that guy, um, from, from what I heard. But yeah, in 2006, that was something new, the mm -hmm. free running. Um, and what, how, can, can you tell more about what you felt about the scene? They walked up to the crates yes. and they fought all the way up there. I uh, I'm afraid of heights, so I was like... <laughs> yeah. But you said it was all real. Well, they obviously... Fought. Um, on top of that. You, yeah, thing. what I meant was you can tell it's so different than, for example, the other extreme, like the computer generated mm -hmm. wave, where you can see everything you see is fake mm -hmm. and it doesn't do anything with you. You just look at it and you, you know, no, none of what you're seeing is real. Here you actually see two people, you, you know that they're on the trains doing the jumps. Obviously, it's not yeah, Tom Cruise and Craig no. won't jump, but. Not a lot of actors would, but still, it's people jumping from there. Yeah, that guy who was jumping off buildings and that weird stuff. It was like... Yeah. <laughs> you're like... Mouth dropping. You're like Spider-Man or something. Yeah. <laughs> Without the... <laughs> Without the web. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, true. But then Daniel Craig came and he was like, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm just like putting this down and then all that thing went down. <laughs> yeah. He was like smart. <laughs> yeah, no, you're correct on that because he, he wasn't as capable to jump through everything. No. He just used his wits. He, yeah, he just watched him and he was like, nope, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, did, he used different methods mm -hmm. to, to follow him. Yeah, no, very good observation. That's true. Um, so that action scene you enjoyed. Mm -hmm. There was also another major action scene at the airport. <laughs> Uh, you were just talking about the aviation. How did you like the, the airplane chase uh, on the airfield and that, that type of stuff? Also? I don't know. Um, I said during the movie, this is impossible. It wouldn't is, happen. No, that no, this is impossible. On the runway, that, that's impossible. Mm -hmm. You have like guards are guarding the runway. Right. This is Impossible. But it was kind of explained, like he got the ellipsis password to go get past the security and get access to the, mm -hmm. uh, the airport. But obviously, you're right, it is, it is a movie, it wouldn't happen yeah. that, that fast, like in as elaborate life, as that. Yeah, but. in real life it's impossible, but in the movie I liked it a lot, because of the runway and then that airplane uh, landed and he had to go up. <laughs> yeah, again, the police cars flew away yeah, from, because yeah. of the turbulence. And panic. I said to you during the movie, oh my god, if you were sitting in that airplane and you have to go up, it would, it would be an emergency. So the, the number one stewardess would like, emergency, emergency! Brace, yeah, <laughs> Brace, I, think, I, don't think, I don't think the stewardess had much time to <laughs> no, react to that, no. to that part. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm glad you never uh, went through that in, in your job in the plane. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you enjoyed that action scene as well. Yeah, I hope that he just blew that bad guy up and he did. <laughs> yeah, he put the bomb on his uh, belt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
He was um, lucky that the bad guy just pushed him out of the car, so he went like backwards, and he saw that thingy hanging out of the car. Mm -hmm. He was like, ah, oh, there it is, let me <laughs> take that. Another aspect of um, the movie, and I think one of the, the biggest aspects to the movie, is the poker. Uh, and That's a fine. large part of the movie is just them playing cards. Yeah. Yet, it was, I think, really intriguing and um, interesting to see. But how did you feel about the poker aspect? Interesting. Um, I never played poker before. Oh, we should. I, I, played, I played a lot back in the day. Um, Regular poker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I believe you, but okay. But I never played poker before, but with this movie I learned a lot. <laughs> I you know could what follow the what was royal flush is now, because <laughs> yeah. they let you see what the royal flush is. Yeah, straight um, flush blonde head. So you were able to kind of, even if you don't know the rules of poker too much, you still are able to kind of follow what's going on, I think. Yeah, yeah. Because Le, le Chief, mm -hmm. it's a weird name. <laughs> It's really also comes from the like book. Le, and then his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it basically translates to the the, it's like the number. The lyrics. Yeah, <laughs> the number basically. It's a code name. My name is the lyrics. Yeah, <laughs> but um, he's like I'm extra. And the poker game didn't take place in just one scene. They, they scattered it out through multiple scenes. Like yeah. Bond lost his mm -hmm. money, uh, he got poisoned at one point, mm -hmm. uh, and then later he did win. So it was all kinds of moments. Mm -hmm. What did you think of, the, of all those things? That yeah, I didn't know that a poker game lasted that long. <laughs> tournaments can take, can take hours and sometimes yeah. days. But I didn't know that a poker game would have breaks, like they just stop playing and you, have, you can just go for one hour break and then come back and you yeah. leave your chips behind. I would be that somebody who take her chips with her <laughs> yeah 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 but there's also the, the banker the the you know the the guy the dealer that, yeah, that the pays dealer, attention yes. to, the, to, to the chips okay so it's all secured kind of um but bond got poisoned during the game how did you feel of that scene that he needed to use a defibrillator to yeah he reset? had a lot of things in his breaks like he got poisoned, he got almost killed during the break. Yeah, he needed to fight in the stair stairwell uh, area. Yes, yeah. I would be so tired if I was him. Yeah. <laughs> he has to think during the game and then he has to fight and almost kill. <laughs> okay, how, yeah. How did, you, how did you feel about uh, the poisoning bit where he needed to use a defibrillator in his car? Yeah, he, has, he had to just defibrillated himself. Mm -hmm. like, he had to put the pads on himself. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank and God. then the button didn't work? No, 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 but uh, what's her name? Vesper. Vesper came right on time. Thank God we have Vesper mm -hmm. to just put the needle in the defibrillator. And then the first thing he asks when he comes by is, are you okay? To Vesper, <laughs> which I think is really funny. <laughs> How do you like Craig's humor as Bond? Or? Yeah, yeah, his humor. <laughs> <laughs> like sarcastic humor, yeah. 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 Um, speaking of Vesper, you just say, said, thank God we have Vesper. She's a major aspect to this movie. Mm -hmm. um, she's introduced uh, as, as a strong female character. You know, there's like a little verbal ping pong going on between them, like they're, like they're kind of... Yeah, but she was the former government finance, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, the treasury. Treasury, yes. I'm the money. I'm the money? Every penny of it. Money, penny, definitely. The treasury is the greatest stake in the game. Especially. How did you like her character and, and what happened to her during the movie mm -hmm. and how it ended up? How did you like Vesper? She wasn't like uh, Mei Ling. What's her name? Wei Ling. Wei Ling. Like a real Bond girl. Right now? She didn't fight. 
Okay, so a real Bond girl in your eyes is someone who's, who should fight. Fight and fight with Bond, think with Bond, like how do we fight the bad guy, stuff like that. She's like damsel in distress. More, yes, that's, that, that's true. Um, so do you think all, you're not a Bond girl if you can't fight? She's a Bond girl. She had that romantic glow on her. Not the fighting glow, <laughs> if you, you know what you I mean. You prefer the fighting glow, like yes. Waylin is still your favorite Bond yeah. girl, probably. Yeah. Okay, but uh, this was the, the only girl that reached Bond's heart, kind of, mm -hmm. that, that but got But this in. was the first book. Uh, yes, but um, she got past, uh, and like he says, it's his armor is off. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you like that aspect of him falling in, in love and then later she turns out to be blackmailed and actually be on the wrong side and kind of portraying Bond in a way even maybe against her will. But How did you feel about that whole aspect following her character? Well, I said to you during the movie it took so long because he already won the money. Yeah. There they could end the movie. You he weren't expecting the, the whole the, the whole third act of the, the movie, the yeah. falling in love. Yeah. And then he fall in love, okay, then they can end the movie. They didn't. It because took so long to, to get, get to, to the it. end, so it had to come. Yeah. So I said to you, well, uh, there's something because it's taking so long. Yeah, you were expecting something to come along. Yeah. Yeah. Because otherwise they would stop the movie right there and That's then. true. Yeah. Just like most of uh, the old Bond movies, like they go in bad, they, they have yeah, sex. Yeah, because the and bad the, guy the was already dead. Mm -hmm. Like, true. why don't you stop it right over there or mm -hmm. something like that? There had to come something. Yeah. So. <clears throat> and then she committed suicide at the end of the movie. Yeah, that's so sad. Uh, in Venice. I was there. The sinking house. Yeah. You were there. I, and we also well, I was not there on the set, but. I was there in Venice mm. where they had seen the building. Yeah, you, you went through the canals mm -hmm. and everything. I went through the canals. Yeah, yeah. it's also behind you. <laughs> uh, she committed suicide. Bond tried to rescue her and she actually um, closed the thing herself. She went down and then you see her kind of kissing Bond's hand goodbye and then her scared face, like she realizes what no, she's doing. No, she pushed herself backwards. Yes. And then she opened her mouth. Yeah. Killing herself. And that's suicide. Yeah. But I, I think she displays this, this fear when she goes to the camera, like, oh, should I? And she just realized in an instant she's about to kill herself. It's really emotional, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's suicide. Yeah, it is. How it's did you like how she, play, how she played that? Yeah, sad. Mm. Yeah, and Bond tried to rescue her with CPR, mm -hmm. but it was too oh, late. Too late, yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's why he has a broken heart. Kind of, yeah. And um, the next movie is centered around that aspect of him having that broken heart. Mm -hmm. More, it's kind of, kind of a sequel to Casino Royale. Um, we shall see if we dive into that one or not. Vesper, we talked about most of the action scenes, we talked about the poker, um, uh, Le Chief. Le Chief, yeah, and Have her talked blood. About that? Yeah, how did you, what do you think of, of Matt, Matt Mickelson playing Le Chief? You he already mentioned his well, name. Yes, he has like that appearance, the looks of a bad guy, and he had the character of a bad guy. Yeah. And then every time he did something bad or there was something bad with him or in his life, he cried blood. Mm -hmm. He explained in the movie that yeah. there was a, a broken tear canal that, that caused him to, to, to get the blood from mm -hmm. there. Yeah. That was a little bit freaky. Yeah, he's a sinister kind of <laughs> But I villain. saw that once in another horror movie, so that was not new for me. Okay. Um, but... Then the but this is not a horror movie. No, 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 but the torturing, you said that was quite good. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, the, uh, I Maybe completely for forgot James about Bond. that, but the, the, oh. the torture scene, let's yeah. dive into that indeed. I'm glad you mentioned it. Um, 
Bond gets stripped naked, put on a chair, mm -hmm. gets tied up, mm -hmm. and his balls get abused. How did you? What did you think of the torture with Le Chief and Bond? When they cut the chair open, I, uh, I already thought, okay, they will do something with his, you know, testicles, with <laughs> his behind and his front, because mm -hmm. uh, that's. That's why they cut open the chair, because mm -hmm. I saw that in another horror movie. You see but too <laughs> much horror movies, but <laughs> but then they he took like uh, how do you call it a rope, yeah, and you just slap him with the rope. <laughs> Watching this, could, could imagine <laughs> that you don't want to be in that position. Yeah, I don't know how much pain that is, but I think it hurt like peep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I yeah, I think so it. as well. I could watch it like the whole scene. Yeah. I didn't close my eyes. I didn't like, did not watch it. I didn't. Uh, but did it did ears. make it. on you as a Bond movie to see Bond in such a vulnerable position all of a sudden being helpless uh, at one point you can see the no. fear in his eyes no I that that part it didn't do it didn't do me anything only the screams of the woman mm -hmm. I was only thinking about what's happening with her yeah is she getting raped? Is she getting or? raped? Is she getting tortured? What's happening with her? Yeah. Did they cut off her uh, hands or something like that? You only see him. Yeah. Like torturing him with a rope. That's true. Yeah. But I thought with how you call him Le Chief, mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought um, he maybe cut off his hands or his fingers. He was like with his kind of looks. Yeah. So, okay, but it's, uh, go, like, crazy, obviously psychic, it's crazy. not a horror movie that they don't want to scare you and actually show you Bond's, you know, it still needs no, to be... No, 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 I don't have to see that, but... Okay, good, but... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> but um, um, but I'm, I, what I meant was, um, I remember you, you mentioned with the Brass movies, he's always perfect, he never gets hurt, mm -hmm. and he's always superhero, and yeah. here you see him really vulnerable. And in this position of, of, of he's not a superhero, and mm -hmm. it's not always a happy ending for him. And he was, he, he didn't even save himself. He got saved. Yeah, by another bad guy. Yeah. But the torturing scene of, uh, what's his name? Die Hard Day. Yeah. The one with the scorpions, North, or the one North with Korea. Yeah, and that was uh, Die Hard Day. Yeah, that was in the beginning, the torture with the scorpions and with the water and stuff mm -hmm. and they hurt him very badly 14 months yeah i i couldn't watch that you saw me like uh look away or like and even my though ears. the most part of what you saw there was just playing over the madonna music and you just saw scorpions walking and yeah, it was more they, suggestive like, you didn't need physically see hurt of, yeah they put a, his head under water mm -hmm. they just beat him up, I can't take that stuff. <laughs> yeah, so to you, that is strangely enough impacted you maybe even more. Yeah, here is just like, he sits and then he jokes around about his balls and about his ass. Like, oh my god, I have an itch, like over there, more to the right, more. He needed to, I think, but I, I see your point, but I think it's a lot of the watchers here will be like, well, you don't have testicles, so you don't know. <laughs> Uh, is there anything else you want to mention and we should go to the rating as well? No, it was quite good. The car, I liked. Right, the DTS. Very beautiful car. I agree, yeah. yeah. One of my friends on YouTube, David Suritsky, who I think you know now as well, oh, yes. owns that car, which really? I'm very uh, envious about, yeah. Also awesome with car. the defibrillator and with the... Uh, <laughs> you should ask him. I don't know if he has that, but who knows. But you enjoyed the movie. Um, yeah, and at the end they had like the white white man. White Mr. Guy. White. Yeah. That's the real bad guy or what? 
That's, uh, that's or is that the question for the next movie? Yes, okay. yes. Uh, it, it is funny because when this movie came out, that was my interpretation as well. Um, but it, I won't spoil too much. No, so I, I just called him, mm -hmm. and uh, that guy uh, took the phone and he said, "Yeah, hello, who's this?" And, and he shot, just him, in shot him in the leg. Yeah, and that, that's the ending of the movie. For so. now, that does continue in the next one. Um, so we don't know if he's bad or good. For me, then, the all size. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, I won't spoil them at where all. They, where were they? Italy. Still in Italy. Yeah, and that's where the next movie is going to open. Okay. Um, so, how would you rate Casino Royale having seen it now? Mm. Yeah. Uh, I think a solid eight. Solid eight. Awesome. Okay. So we <laughs> entered Casino Royale with a solid eight. So mm. it's for you. Goldeneye was a little bit better. I think Jamar never dies as well, the one with Wei Lin. Yeah. Those were two that you gave a higher rating. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. This was, however, directed by the same director as Goldeneye. Yeah, you, you said it, right? In, no, the, in the scene. No, that was, was the producer. Oh, that okay. was the producer. Yeah. Um, okay. A solid eight, uh, we shall return to watch more Daniel Craig movies, I think at least, I'm just assuming. Quantum, quantum, what was it? Sorry. Quantum of Solace. <laughs> quantum of Solace, okay. Yeah, you want to watch that one next? Yes, I oh, think God. it's in the desert. Uh, yeah. Oh, it really? Is. Yeah. Okay, but I cannot wait for the other two. Yeah, I... Skyfall I, and Spectre. Me neither. I, I enjoy those two a lot it's, more. It's quite awesome, those other two, because he's looking like sophisticated bonds. Those posters, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, we will return uh, with probably Quantum of Solace, which I'm not too happy about, I can spoil, but we'll see what <laughs> no. we'll do. But we're, we won't skip it, we'll just return next time. Thanks a lot for watching once again, I hope you enjoyed. I'm glad you enjoyed and we'll be back next time. Bye! Bye!